Ripple's open source protocol and network is already being used by banks and other institutions. So how is Ripple and XRP different to other cryptocurrencies? Let's first start with what is Ripple? Unlike most other cryptocurrencies, XRP is controlled by a single company called Ripple. The Ripple network is positioning itself not as a direct rival to cryptocurrencies, but as more of an updated version of the SWIFT system used by banks. Unlike cryptocurrencies, there is no mining process to mint new units of XRP. There's already a pre-mined amount of around 100 billion units of XRP, but only a fraction is circulating. The Ripple Network and its cryptocurrency XRP were launched in 2012. The company Ripple has close ties with banks and other institutions, and their goal is to act as a global settlement network to enhance existing infrastructure and services. Unlike Bitcoin, which is run by a decentralized peer-to-peer -peer network and controlled by no single entity, the cryptocurrency XRP was created by one company, Ripple. So the main goal of Ripple is to establish a network that allows as many transactions as possible to simultaneously run as fast as possible. Ripple aims to attract companies like large banks, remittance services and payment providers who are interested in the technology. Keeping that in mind, it's easy to see that Ripple is more of a competitor to establish financial infrastructure services, such as SWIFT rather than other cryptocurrencies. One fundamental feature of Ripple that may surprise you is that Ripple Network doesn't run on a blockchain and its native cryptocurrency XRP doesn't depend on proof-of-work algorithm like Bitcoin or Ethereum. For this reason, it doesn't need as much energy and computing power and also allows for faster transaction speeds. Instead, transactions on Ripple Network run through validating servers, which constantly compare the information they receive in a process with a common ledger. Ripple is more than just a cryptocurrency XRP. While Bitcoin and other cryptos are positioning themselves as independent alternatives to traditional currencies and central banks, the goal of Ripple is actually the exact opposite. Ripple wants to act as a global settlement network and hence work closely together with banks, payment providers, and other financial institutions. The goal of Ripple is really to serve as a flexible middleman currency in order to facilitate the exchange of any unit in value. Did you know Ripple, the company, is actually older than Bitcoin? A predecessor of Ripple Protocol was developed in 2004, which back in those days was called Ripple Pay. Now let's look at what lies ahead. So the XRP Ledger 1.6 was released in August 2020, and it included several updates that aim to improve overall performance along with several bug fixes and optimizations. In 2020, allegations of the SEC against Ripple also caused some turmoil. According to the US Securities and Exchange Commission, XRP is a security and was not declared as such. The reason behind the claim is now that about 50% of the total XRP tokens are owned by Ripple. In its official reply, Ripple actually defended itself by stating the XRP network is completely decentralized and that holding XRP doesn't mean receiving a portion of Ripple's revenues or profits. And as for future potential, Ripple's XSpring is an ecosystem initiative for investing in, incubating, acquiring and providing grants for projects and companies that could play a role in realizing use cases of XRP outside international transactions such as crypto solutions for debt and also derivatives. So what's your thoughts on XRP and Ripple? Share your thoughts in the comments of this video and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell notifications to not miss any more video updates like this.